Pleased to uh, visit with Jackie Stiles, assistant women's basketball coach at Missouri State University and the all-time leading scorer in NCAA history. And Jackie, it's been 16 years since the uh, record was set. Uh, take us through that senior season of yours. Well, it was a, a very memorable one, definitely, uh, just because we actually advanced to the Final Four that year, and it was such, it was looked at as an impossible dream, so to accomplish something like that um, at Missouri State, it was, you know, very rewarding and fulfilling. But uh, yes, I somehow did become the all-time leading scorer uh, that year, and I pinched myself saying, that was me, that was really me that did that, and I cannot believe it stood for 16 years, but um, I had such a incredible people surrounding me from uh, my teammates and coaches that made me look good all those years. Going into that season, was, was the record even in your mind? I mean, had you thought about scoring records? You had the Valley record and then you had the all-time leading uh, record as well. Well, my focus going into my senior year most definitely was I just want to do whatever it takes to play in a Final Four. That was my dream coming into Missouri State and I did not want to leave school without that happening. Um, but you know, as my senior year went on, people were kind of letting me know about the all-time leading score record. So it definitely wasn't a focus of mine, but it was hard to escape because, you know, everybody around me was talking about it. There was a lot of media, I wouldn't say scrutiny, but a lot of press that season. Were you caught up in that at all, or were you kind of guarded away from that? Well, I tried to uh, stay away from it as much as I could. I, I didn't want to read it to put added pressure on myself or anything like that. And I didn't want it to take away from the focus of just doing whatever it took to help the team win. So I, I tried to stay away from it as best I could, but you know, it was really hard to escape at the end because it gave, it became pretty overwhelming. I remember trying to go eat at a fast food restaurant and just being mobbed. And then we said, okay, we're not gonna have any papers in the house, not turn the news on or the sports on. And then we actually turned the news on. It was bleeding the actual news. So it was really hard to escape, but um, it was a memorable experience. I remember the record setting night, March 1st, 2001. Talked to the sports information director. He said they had at least 10 times the amount of media requests for that game. What do you remember about that night? And I mean, did you, talk, did you think much about the, the record going in? Did you know you had to do it that night? Well, um, I knew, um, you know, there was a lot of electricity that game. I mean, just walking in early, I mean, there were so many people already there, like an hour and a half before game time. And then they had all these media strips along the court where all the different media members would sit. So, um, and, you know, I knew the next game was senior night. So, I really did not want to take away from the other seniors on the team because they had such a remarkable career. So ideally, I wanted to break it the night I did and, and honestly just to get the monkey off my back because then I could really focus on what our goal was and that was to advance you know, far into the NCAA tournament. So um, yeah, I, there was a lot of tension. I was just praying that my first shot would go in, but I had no idea that they had printed 10,000 pictures that said, I broke the record on that day. I'm glad I didn't know all that stuff beforehand. So They also brought in the current record holder, which you didn't know about as well, right? No, I did not know about that. Thank goodness, because that, that definitely would have um, added to the pressure of that night for sure. Well, take us that night afterwards. I mean, w once you broke it, um, they didn't stop the game, but soon thereafter, there was a timeout. and. Were you, were you able to just kind of relax, take a, a big uh, deep breath and say, man, finally. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I actually knew how many points I needed along the way because I couldn't even escape that because the crowd was actually counting. So you could hear um, how many points I was away. So um, I pretty much knew when I hit the three that um, I had broke the record. And then the, the sound of the crowd, uh, you know, made me definitely aware that I had actually broke the record. But it was so special to do it here at Missouri State um, at home because our fans, in my opinion, are the best in the country. So uh, to give them that moment to do it on our home court um, was extra special. Well, the record's being talked a lot about this year. As you know, uh, Kelsey Plum from Washington is nearing the numbers. Uh, you know a little bit about Kelsey and I know you followed her a little bit. Yeah, um, actually I had just taken my first uh, college coaching job at LMU and I got to go out the last week in July when we can go out and evaluate players. And right, I, basically I saw her team play and I saw her and I was like, wow, I knew at that moment she was gonna be special. The way she could score, she could do it in any which way. She could shoot the three, she could pull up and shoot the jumper. She could take it all the way to the rim. I mean, 
she was just unstoppable. And I said to myself, I gotta call her. I don't, you know, I know we, it might be a long shot, but I just want to get her on the phone and just try because she's so amazing. And I actually got, um, she was my first recruiting call um, at LMU, and I, I got to talk to her. And my opening line was, I know you probably don't know who I am, but, and I never say this ever, but um, I'm the all-time leading scorer, and I would love to help you break my record. And, you know, unfortunately, I didn't get to help her, but I've um, been watching her from afar and cheering her on, and she's had just an incredible career. How does her game compare to yours? I mean, can you compare somebody else's game to yours? Well, you know, I, when I saw her, I saw a lot of similarities on the way that she would score and, and the pull-up jumper, because there's just a lot of um, female basketball players that really don't use the pull-up jumper, and I could see the way that, you know, she could just uh, maneuver her body in traffic and control her body in the air. And, uh, yeah, it, it just kind of reminded me of me. I mean, actually, she's better than me. I mean, she's amazing. and. Uh, but I knew she was going to be special way back then when she was a senior in high school. As you know, there's a lot of pressure that goes with this. Uh, you can kind of relate to what she's going through this year, right? Oh, yes, uh, definitely. And I know that the social media, you know, brings a whole other element to it. I'm sure it's even, you know, 10 times more crazy than it was for me. But, uh, you know, I just tell her if I, if I had the chance to just focus on the things that she's always done, try to keep her routine the same. And don't read all the stuff because, you know, it can, you know, possibly affect you and maybe put extra pressure on you. So just try to surround yourself by, you know, the people that give you confidence. Do what you always do and try to avoid all the, um, you know, the articles and, and the news, you know, things so you can really stay focused. She's still a few points away, but once she gets close, that's when it really starts to build, right? Oh, definitely. I mean, I know that she is hearing it all the time, 24-7. I'm sure she's at the point that, because um, I know her, she's a very unselfish basketball player and she doesn't focus on individual awards. It's always the team for her and she sure has made her team better and the things she's done at Washington is remarkable. So, you know, I know that she probably just wants to end up breaking it to be able to focus on what her team goals are. You had the record holder at the game that night. I know you'd love to be there, but you have a job here at Missouri State, so it won't allow you to do that. But if you have a chance, uh, will you be able to talk to her? Well, I don't know if I'll be able to talk to her for sure. I'll definitely try to make contact with her. And if it somehow worked in the schedule on the projected game, if we didn't have a game or I wasn't missing a practice, I would try to go, if, if at all possible, if I could go, um, depending on if and when she breaks it. So. Um, but I, I definitely, whether I'm there in attendance or I get to talk to her, I am her biggest fan and I'm cheering for her from afar for sure. What are your thoughts going to be, I mean, once she breaks it? Uh, you've been the record holder for 16 years. Uh, it, I know records are made to be broken, but what are your thoughts going to be? Well, you know, for somebody like Kelsey to have broken my record, I mean, I can't imagine a, a better a person. Um, you know, a better player on and off the floor. I mean, she is so great, uh, and she's a great role model for women's basketball and just, you know, athletics in general. She's such a great person. It's well-deserved. She's such a hard worker, and her size to be able to do what she's done. I mean, she's only 5'8". She's had to work tremendously hard, and she's earned it for sure. So I will definitely celebrate her if she breaks the record. One final question. I know uh, after you broke the record, it seemed like you were able to relax a little bit. The team played a little bit better after the record broke. For her, her goal is to get back to the uh, Final Four. Um, talk a little bit about how you relaxed and what it was like for you in that run to the Final Four after you broke the record. Well, it was such a special and memorable run, especially since the Final Four was held in St. Louis and we got to actually bust. We're just three hours away. So here we are, a Cinderella story and we're the hometown team that, you know, just made it extra special. But I know once the record was out of the way, we truly could focus on our team goals of advancing to a Final Four. And, you know, it put also a lot of added stress and pressure, I know, on my teammates, just because they were being interviewed a lot. And, you know, it was just an extra distraction for them. And I, I think everybody was able to just kind of relax and focus on, you know, what we were meant to do um, that season. Jackie, we appreciate it. Again, congratulations to you on the record, and I know we wish the best for Kelsey and, and her Washington basketball team this season. Absolutely. We're cheering them on from uh, Missouri State, as long as they're not playing us, of course. <laughs>